In this video, we're going to make a custom rule. So we're going to start by looking at the steps to write a rule in a custom rule article written about response contains a property. This custom rule is going to be uh, about having a specification extension defined in the root of the definition. So I start by adjusting my redocu.yaml file, not expecting this to work. I decide instead of defining an error at the top level, I want to pass in a configuration where I can have dynamic extension names in case my team wants to change it later on. So I do that. I'm going to run it just to show that it doesn't work. So in a way, it's test-driven custom rule development. So I'm going to create a plugins folder and a rules folder and in the rules folder, I'm going to create a root has specification extension.js and I'm going to create a demo.js. That's my plugin. Uh, this will still not work. A plugin must have an ID and we must export it. And since we also want a rule, we'll be adding that as well. Let's check. Okay, so now we found my plugin and we see that the rule doesn't exist yet. Why is that? Well, I have to export it and I have to write it. I'm going to use type hinting to help. Uh, Open API CLI ships with type hints and I want the OAS uh, rule type hint. So this one is a uh, root has specification extension and I'm passing in the configuration options which I will um, set to the variable extension name. Uh, and if it isn't set, I'm going to set an empty array so it's the type that I'm expecting. So I don't have to do any um, checking on that. Uh, definition root is the, the part of the def is the visitor that we're going to check. All we're checking is if the root doesn't contain the element. I go through each extension name and set that as the element and loop through it. And if it doesn't exist, I set this error message and uh, that's it. Root, root object must have a top level element property. And now I've got to go ahead and consume this in my plugin. So in my plugin, I import my rule and then I add, I'm adding rules to the exports, but I need to define the rules. I'm setting up my typings and I go ahead and oh, fix my indentation. And I move to uh, set an OAS3 rule. This is for, um, I'm using OpenAPI3 here. And I set the name root has specification extension. I prefer just to use the same name everywhere, uh, but you can change that. I try it out and I see that it, the rule worked it showed me problems that I had. So now I'm going and adding these. I ran it again and I can see now I only had one problem instead of two and I'm going to run it again and it works. So now I'm going to change one of those. It no longer works, I get one error. Uh, so this is um, how we build a custom rule and check the article uh, for guidance uh, come to us to transform your API definition into interactive documentation fast.